This video is sponsored by Opera GX, which is the world's first gaming browser. It is a tailored browser for gamers that has a bunch of cool features such as Discord integration, Twitch integration, a hot tabs killer, forced dark mode, in beta, and more. Opera GX is super useful for PC gamers because of GX Control. GX Control lets users limit their computer's CPU and RAM for their browser so your gameplay isn't impacted when watching streams, etc. The Network Limiter helps limit the network bandwidth used by the Opera GX browser. In the GX Corner, you can stay up to date with free games, the best deals, and the newest releases. There also is built-in Twitch integration. You can log into your Twitch account directly from the sidebar and get notifications when a streamer that you follow goes live. There's also a built-in Discord integration, and you can also integrate other messengers such as Facebook Messenger. The browser design was created with a beautiful design that can be customized with special wallpapers and colors. Let's thank Opera GX for supporting this video and download the link from the description below. Don't worry if you're on mobile, you can still click the link and have it sent to your email address and you can download at a later time. Yo, what's up boys? What's up and welcome to week seven, day one of the real LCS live viewing stream. Yes, we are going to be live viewing. We were recently banned from co-streaming. Uh, I still do not know the reason. I probably will never know the reason. All I know is um, that they said that there was something that went against uh, their core values that I stated on social media. So we've got a new system, right? We're going to have to live view. We're going to have to make do with what we have because in reality you know they can take away my rights to co-stream they can try to you know quiet my voice whatever but um they can't stop me from being passionate about a league that i love um and they can't stop me from being um passionate about something that i really enjoy so but yeah i'm gonna still try to cast the games the same way i normally do um try to bring the same energy everything like that i don't really think that this will change um like my ability to uh you know, give you guys my input. It, it is what it is. I'm going to try my best to, to still give you guys the best content I can. And that is what it is. <laughs> Banned, but still better than the official LCS stream. Dude, I'm going to still try to like maintain same energy and all that stuff. Like that just, it is what it is. Like that's all I can do is just keep on trying to be the best uh, content creator I can, right? One thing about Halastar is most people take Hex Flash, so once you unlock unlock your Hex Flash, it's not even that bad um, for you in general. Sun Scaring caught here, combo in from. Ooh, damn. Insanity with the Flash. Insanity's in no man's land. He should die for this. Good stuff. The Bang Aphilius is just too strong here. So this is 43k viewers. Uh, it's Friday Night League. Friday Night League normally doesn't get like super, super high viewership. Maybe there would be a, more viewership if they didn't uh, ban a co streamer. Who knows? We'd have to see. Okay, Spin's here in sidestep. Still his ult. EG look like they want to fight this. Damn, and they're on to Smithy just like this. Damn, that was an aggressive fucking play, but it worked out. They essentially took that fight like. Oh man, and it's, it's turning bad right now. But they essentially took that fight uh, 4v5. It was like 2v5 actually. Paulo, a sliver of health. Hakuo, a sliver of health as they limp away. And Huni just says, Alorum, get off me so I can take down your teammates. <laughs> okay, and Bang is, is absolutely huge. So this is like the best possible circumstance for EG. Show. Dude, I get these like such intense like spasms or just like pains in my leg, man. It's so crazy. Uh, it's <laughs> Imagine when you turn 30, man. You're already having problems. Dude, I turned 30 in uh, two weeks. What did I get for a present? Banned from my favorite thing. Nice. Let's go. To not be sexist, you should play support for the whole duration of your ban. I will not make it through the whole duration of my ban if I'm forced to play only support. Bang's backing. I mean, he's been on the map for a while. He probably has decent night. Oh my god, he has 2,900 gold in the bank. He's literally 4k up on Apollo, bro. He is up 4k on Apollo. Jesus, bro. That's so crazy to me. What did he just buy? He just bought a Lord Dominic's regards in full. They don't even have that much armor on the enemy team. I mean, Graves has some. Alorum has some, but like... God damn. A full Lord Dominic's regards. Holy shit. Free Lord Dom. Yeah, dude, he's doing it as a shout out to me. That's what it is, bro. It's a shout out to me. It's not actually because he thinks it's an optimal purchase. He is inting the game to support your boy. Still do the crack. I'm still doing all my content, bro. The only thing I, I can't do is show the co-streams themselves, but I'm still going to be doing all of my content the same. 
all the co streams or all the the co streams will just be live views, and then all the live views I was doing before, the podcast I was doing before, everything stays the same. Nothing changes except for the fact that if you want to watch, you're gonna have to sync, which I know is gonna obviously hurt my viewership a lot, but you know, at the end of the day, we're just gonna build an even more core audience. So by the time that we um, end up getting unbanned next year, like the people that are that have been here the whole time will just be like super into it. I'm pretty sure. I mean, that fight was just like over from the first fucking moment. Look at the summoners. That's how you know how brutal the fight was. Everyone on IMT is dead. And all their summoners are still up. EG is just chilling on summoners. They're like, yeah, we don't even need to use these. Maybe we have to use these for next fight. And Sandy tries to go in for the the fucking shuffle there, gets one shot by fucking bang, man. Jesus Christ. What would you do if Immortals won Worlds this year? What would I do if Immortals won Worlds? Uh, I don't know. I would. Uh, I don't know. I would just co-stream the World Finals, even though I without with, I wouldn't have permission. Um, I would just co-stream World Finals without permission and uh, get myself banned on Twitch. If they get to World Finals, that's what I'll do with IMT. We haven't been seeing enough of that, I think, from him. That's been one of my main criticisms. But if I see him just getting ganks off, like, if this works, man, that'll be a really good look for Broxa. I mean, he might actually kill Impact, though. Oh, that E was terrible. Wait. And Impact dies. Oh, God. That's a tragedy, boys. That is a fucking tragedy. Oh, no. That's how every Broxa gank looks. Like, I don't even think that's his fault. I guess it's like Impact going too early, but my God, that sucks. Brox's first assist at 30 minutes incoming. Hey, that's an improvement. Last time it was 35 minutes. So if he's down, if he's able to get it down to 30 minutes, great. Well played by him. That's the improvement we like to see. Like maybe I'm overly critical of him, and maybe I'm just like hyper focusing on on his gameplay every game. But I just don't see what I want to see out of him. That's what gets me as uh, somebody that like wants to. You know, wants TL to do well at Worlds, and like I think they're one of the hopes for the region. Oh my God, what is he doing? Wait, what is he doing? Wait, he just into right? Okay, I guess it's fine. Nice flash out by Brox on the fast fingers. His core JJ is now back from the grave to deliver a bit of damage. Cosmic finding. Okay, that guy's drowsy. He's dead. Santorin is probably dead too. Okay, that ended up being good. Good shit. We'll we'll say that Brox abated them there. We'll give him credit. That was a good play, and he was a part of it. Oh, and they got actually power of evil here. But he has no damage. That's so upsetting. Oh, and Tagnoli just gets one shot by Solo. Holy shit. He actually got, like, the ideal flank, too. Thoughts on the EG lineup being the second best team in NA? Dude, I don't know who the second best team in NA is at this point. It's like, it's literally just based on the day. It could be TL, it could be TSM, it could be FlyQuest, it could be EG. Second best team in NA is just like, who didn't it today? That's literally what it is. The double shrines up top lane from Smoothie. Oh, Wiggly's no flash. This should be a kill. Ryan was got to move though. Just don't get stunned. Okay, he didn't get stunned. They both spite the crab. Wiggly's dead. Wiggly is dead. Dude, contracts. That's why. That's why in my tier list, bro, I got contracts as a a tier two jungler, and I got Wiggly as a tier four jungler. That's the the difference right there between a tier two and a tier four. Yeah, what's wrong with crackhead junglers, man? There's nothing wrong with that. A little bit of crack can go a long way on stage. Stop flaming him. So I'm not smart enough to solve this case. Instead, I'm going to talk about this fight that's breaking out as Wiggly comes in from behind. Oh, Rama got stunned. Right uh, he's the probably dead. I mean, he still has flash. Maybe he just lives, actually. Just walking away. Justice punch back, trying to buy a little bit of extra Oh, time. good taunt. Oh my god, the prediction error. Actually, I don't know if that was a prediction error. Yeah, I think he was just aiming at, at Wiggly or some shit. <laughs> but Smoothie just flashes into the Ash arrow there. That's so fucking troll. Holy shit. I think Kenvi is somebody who I've been really high on. Tenacity is somebody who I've also been pretty high on. Yeah, I like to see those players get chances. Okay, the dragon fight comes in. Still no ulti for Wukong. Wukong is here, but he doesn't have ulti. And Ruin just TP'd in, like, such a weird spot. 
Contracts ultis to secure the dragon. Ruin is just dead here. And Pobalter has flash. He's going to have to flash over. Cody flashes out so that he lives. Wukong's going to 100% kill this uh, this uh, Zaya here. And now the chase continues. Uh, that was a bad taunt from Ryama. He should have just popped it earlier once the guy had blue smited for the Nimbus cloak. As Ryoma walks in, he face checks three, but he's I mean, got so much HP, he's not They're just all dead. They're Bought literally just all dead. Wiggly, look at fight Damn, to someday I actually TP'd for that. He was all the way bot lane, and then he TP'd to mid lane to guarantee that they got all those kills. I mean, it's 9 to 1. This game looks super, super over, and it's on soul point. God damn, it's a tough one. I mean, it's everything diff this game, but yeah, jungle diff definitely came in. Pathing diff too. <laughs> That it's a jungle diff, mid diff, yeah, AD diff, support back, diff, team diff, organization like diff, every type of diff this game. To the side of the dragon. I to point Webcam out diff even, like Jesus the Christ. Right now is How do you even play? Just the How do you play when you're getting webcam diff this hard? Oh my god, someday, what was that flash? For their lives, almost dead. Someday Before really trolled that flash super hard. Now that tier three well, Ryoma on to Pobelter. Pobelter has no flash. Right he is just so dead right now. Contracts up in there. The Dude, Contracts actually been looking good in LCS so far. I like seeing that, you know, because most people probably would have counted him out. I mean, when you go from, like, top tier LCS team to, like, middle tier LCS team to bottom tier LCS team to playing in Academy, like, when that's the trajectory of your career, most people just count you out. So seeing him, like, being able to just play well... And just like in the whole game, the second I say anything good about him is just respectable, you know. As CLG tries to move forward, hundred thieves wisely falling back. Contract dashing in here again. Hey, getting hit by getting chunked. So hundred thieves will not. It's just doomed. I don't know if that's the suplex you need from Wiggly there. He's like, I'm on graves. Okay, let's FF. You already dead on the side of CLG. Probably gonna be even more now. They go back into the safety of the fountain. Padding KDA. Control of everything, all That's what type way, of team uh, CLG is now. CLG is just a team where you just pad your KDA against them. Yeah, I actually like this chill with the boys and I'll be forced to watch the LCS games. What do you mean, man? The whole point is that you can live you both. What the hell? You didn't gank a rider's lane? What do you mean I didn't gank a rider's lane? You think there's any rioters that can make it to my ELO? There is no goddamn way. Chat, there's no way. That, that can't be the reason why. All right, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. What would they do if you said to your support making a sandwich in lane? I have no idea, bro. They probably just, I don't know, public execution or something. Both very high, highly skilled junglers. Both A tier junglers in my mind. And they're on top of Huhi, and Huhi's just gonna die here 100%. They're all sucked in. Double TP coming in from, from uh, FlyQuest, Jesus Christ. That might be too much. That might've been too many TPs. Let's throw a fucking party to celebrate a dead Nautilus. That's what it was. Holy shit. I mean, it could be. I mean, I'm pretty sure Demonte's just really dead here, isn't he? Okay, so Torn's dead, Closer's dead, and FlyQuest wins the dragon. That's so big for FlyQuest, man. It's really good for Santorin as well. Santorin ready with the blast cone. Turtle gonna position himself well. Okay, Santorin's he in. He doesn't have ult. Santorin should die here, I think. Kennen is gonna ult this. And the Galio ult on top. Santorin's dead. Agnar can't fight either. He has, uh, like, no health at all. Should be free. For Golden Guardians, it looks like they got it. They probably just walk out here. Solo and Santorin. Thinking about walking forward. Here we go. Looking like it's going to be a 50 50. Haunts are coming around. Okay, so Dragon actually Drake stolen by Santorin there. That's really big. Santorin, the man and is Ignar is in, but a good Galio ult. Kennen still has ult, and he's going on the side. Okay, he just got a Zero shuffled. I mean, that's going to be a huge win for FlyQuest then. FlyQuest will definitely win this fight now. Surprised that the Kennen actually, or the, yeah, the Kennen actually lived there. Still has Flash and Cleanse though. They're moving in. I mean, they're split right now. Santorin is going to have to flash out potentially. Like, Ignar and Santorin are in a really bad spot. They just section themselves off. Okay, Santorin just ended up walking directly through the cannon. Closer going in. Now, will Demonte just get ulted into the team? Yes, Demonte got ulted into the team, but he does have a stopwatch, and Kennen got a huge ult this fight. And that's going to be a free fucking fight win for, for Golden Guardians. I mean, at this point, whoever gets the better, uh, like, if Kennen gets a good ult, they just win, and he actually got it in that fight. Respect. I don't think that they were um, smart enough about 
marking the Ken in that fight. The first fight, they were really like wary of where he was coming from. They all kited away from him. Power of Evil ulted him out, flashed, like all that stuff. But in this fight, they all, they all went on the Galio who had a stopwatch instead of going on the Kennen, and then the Kennen was just able to get a huge ult off and win the fight. God damn. Okay, Santori getting jumped on. He's super tanky though. Gets the ult out onto Demonte. Demonte gets charmed up. He's getting chunked, but he's alive for right now. Kennen is trying to enter from the side, but he didn't actually get in all the way. This is still actually a winnable fight from FlyQuest. You do have the uh, Azir still able to do damage. And yeah, Kennen just dead here for free, and Galio's dead here for free too. Galio's dead. There's no way that Galio gets to live from this. He is 100% dead. So yeah, that, that is going to be a, a pretty big team fight win for FlyQuest. They could potentially even Baron. They have so much damage on the table still. I think they should go for Baron here. If you need to mark Kennen, why not just pick Kindred? Good one. Fucking good one, chat. Colonel Bill 3-head. Oh, wait. <laughs> you a PD and Hex Shrinker? No! God damn it. So a Hex Shrinker at this point. He just completed the PD, dude. He, he was sitting on a Hex Shrinker for so long, and then he's like, all right, time to buy the PD. No, there's no excuse for this. He's just hard trolling. Oh god, and he completed the maw. Oh! Oh god, he completed the maw too, chat. No! Why? Why would he do that? Yeah, ti timer randomly will go like too fast. I don't know why the timer is going a little bit too, too quick sometimes. Okay. This is why you go maw and, and uh, PD right there. You saw that? You saw how tanky he was? That's why you go maw and PD. Trying to dogpile into the pit. They're rushing down. It is Soul for either team. Oh, and Soul actually. Wait, no, never mind. It's, uh, wait, Soul goes the way of uh, Golden Guardians. All right. The Golden Guardians get the Soul. That being said, they are going to lose Baron here. Game can't be ended, but enemy team will get Baron. Maybe they can have one guy punch. Are they going to try to end? They might try to end. Can they end here? I guess they can. They probably can't end this. This does look endable. Alright. Uh, you go to one stream. You go to one stream and it's uh it's one guy be there's one guy in, in LCS chat, he is spamming. No one cares about I will dominate. He legit paid 10k to get boosted. He actually misspelled paid. Uh, he is a diamond jungler. How can he cast LCS? I'm in challenger right now. I legit would su rather suffer and watch LS than a diamond jungler telling me what pro players should do. Then he comes into my chat. Hi, Dom. I have a question. I am banned from... I have a question. I am banned from Dom's chat. I do not type. I just watch. And when I do type, I think it is it is nothing bannable. Can you tell me what I was banned for? And then he says, I love you, Dom. Hey, Dom. I love you. Love you, Dom. <laughs> like, what the f***? It's the same guy. Holy shit. It's actually the same f***ing guy. That's, that's, that's a real one right there. Actually insane. That's the kind of guy who will kill you no joke. And that's why I don't go hang out with fans. I've had a bunch of people like message me or like send me donations. Yo, Dom, like I'm in LA. You want to like chill, you know, kick back some brews, get some food, hang out with the homies. And I'm like, I just don't feel like dying today. You guys know last time I put an IMT for a C9 vote up, you guys unironically voted for IMT as a meme. You guys voted for IMT over C9. And this is when IMT, I don't think had won one game. Probably the worst part. I think they had lost every single game of the split at this point, and you guys like, voted for IMT, four, and you got a free loss yeah. in the standings because oh, oh, yeah. of this. Yeah. <laughs> chat, don't go IMT. Right no, you know, chat, don't ruin it again. Out, out don't ruin floor, it again. But, uh, it's you guys that you're hurting. We are IMT fans. We love sprinting it for the boys. I mean, if you, I, you guys can do what you want, chat. You can do what you want. We are sprinting it faster than Ika in the LCS. Yeah, he sprinted it straight to Academy. After the split, he'll be sprinting it straight back to France, so it's all good. It is all good. So, I assume it was the nail polish thing that got me banned. Okay, Smithy going on to top side. Licorice has ult. He ults here. But Blabber is not able to actually get anything off. This should be a trade kill onto the um, Maokai there. So, it wasn't the end of the world. Kind of unfortunate that Blabber ended up getting uh, Licorice stun there. Essentially, you just want... If you have a multi... If you have, like... 4 AD, 1 AP, you need your AP to be strong. Um, because if your if your AP isn't strong, then they just stack armor and you lose. Same thing goes for here when you have like 4 AP or like 3.5 AP. And Blabber is just dead here. I mean, 
He has ult. He might be able to live. Okay. He just goes hard with the Galio ult. Niski onto Apollo and Licker's flanking around the bot side. Oh my god, the double TP. Okay, I guess Blabber isn't getting caught, bro. He's catching them. Vulcan gets so thrown into all these people. There is no ulti from Sven, but he gets the heal on Vulcan, and Vulcan ends up living. Alorm's caught off on the side, but he has flash if he really needs it. Blabber is the one that's actually in danger here, and Blabber has to flash away. Dude, the thing is, I swear if Blabber played for a worse team, he would just be inting in like almost every situation like this. The fact that Galio is so willing to just like, you know, like they're all just ready to help him at any point. And maybe that could be like great communication from Blabber where he's like, yo, like this is what's happening. I need you guys to be ready to like follow me up here. You can't really know. There's so many times where it looks like Blabber just does it, like just walks into situations and his whole team is just ready to follow him instantly. So happy you've got 10k viewers despite Riot BS. Keep working hard and get what you deserve. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay, so Vulcan ends up getting ulted out by Sven. Sven has Galio ult on top of it and he ends up living here. Has his Bork. He's life stealing. He's in a good position. Blabber has no ult in this situation yet or no flash. He's really, really low right now. And Licorice is coming around the side. Licorice does have flash. Ended up just walking directly through the... Uh, Drowsy. Pretty troll, honestly. But I guess it worked out. Why Leandre's on Galio? I think it's really solid here. What's the issue with the Leandre's? Oh, Blabber gets a kill. This is actually pretty big, but it, it is really early before the... Um, it is early before the ocean, so they might actually be able to get back and get a fight. Okay, never mind. Apollo's dead. Alright, this is the game. They're gonna get Ocean Soul off this for free. Are they gonna go Baron here? It'd be surprising to go Baron because Ocean Soul is up in 30 seconds. Are they just going to take the Baron and not care about the Ocean Soul? The thing, the, the main reason that like I don't think I would ever get hired by Riot is just that there's no way that my game knowledge would be on par with like the actual casters. So they need to make sure that they hire people that have you know strict knowledge of the game and not like washed up former pros. I, I would argue that probably every caster right now has. And here comes Probably Yabab. higher rating than me in solo queue, etc. Niski? Ban Niski, he's spoiled? What the number, f What did Niski even say? Just drop the hey guys? The Come on. Ban Niski, he's spoiled, true. Nice chat messages up his uh, shit posting all day? Yes, I do. Alright. Good stuff. He's got no fear whatsoever as Xmithy goes in, but he's Wait, so did, no did the second cast. vote actually keep on being IMT? Did you guys vote IMT again and just ruin your own predictions? I'll give you guys the 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 loss here, but in reality, like I know that you guys knew IMT was gonna win. So I'll, even though you guys get the loss. I, I have in my mind that you're actually too above what it says you are because of the uh, two IMT games versus C9.